The Royal Navy has announced that Royal Navy's largest aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth has become a mainstay of the fleet after taking over responsibility from HMS Albion. Citing from Daily Mail site, Fleet Commander Vice Admiral Jerry Kidd, who was the first seagoing commanding officer of the three billion pounds warship, was received on board at Portsmouth Naval Base to mark the transfer of the role from assault ship HMS Albion which has held the title for nearly two years. The transfer was announced to the Royal Navy's ships and shore establishments by a signal at 1.30 p.m. First Sea Lord Admiral Tony Rudakin said, the position of fleet flagship is a symbol of HMS Queen Elizabeth's importance to the nation, not just in restoring our carrier strike capability, but as a ruling statement of British commitment to global security, prosperity and trade. It's right that we bestow such a historic title now. In the coming months HMS Queen Elizabeth will lead the most ambitious Royal Navy deployment in decades. She will be a focal point as we look forward to an extraordinary year. It was announced last week that the Queen Elizabeth and its F-35B Lightning Jets will be complemented by a detachment of the stealth fighters from the U.S. Marine Corps as well as a U.S. Navy destroyer during its first operational strike group deployment. HMS Queen Elizabeth and its strike group will first take part in a war fighting exercise with other NATO navies during Exercise Strike Warrior off Scotland during the spring before it departs for the Mediterranean. The carrier will embark F-35B jets from 617 Squadron B, Dambusters, Royal Navy Merlin helicopters, and be escorted and supported by Royal Navy Type 45 destroyers, Type 23 frigates and support ships of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary. Assault ship HMS Albion had been flagship since March 2018 and its sister ship HMS Bulwark held the position for four years.